right, well, today is the day we start on the bullet. So it's been under the cover for a while now and uh, been up on jack stands since the end of fall. And I am going to start on the suspension breakdown and removing all of the rear axle because we got a new rear axle to go in. So um, there it was what it looks like now stock. Um, also got in some replacement um, rocker front rocker ends. So you guys know uh, I might you might have known. I ordered the I ordered the other uh, Cobra ones and they didn't fit. So um, these right here are fiberglass remanufactured ends that go onto the front of the rocker without the mud flap. If you guys know the bullet has the mud flap in the front. You can see it right there actually sticking out. And uh, the Cobra ones do not fit with the squared off uh, rocker. So I had to order these. So I had to get these painted now because when I lower this down, uh, that mud flap is going to get torn right off at the first, first uh, speed bump I see. So uh, these are going to be the replacements. So I'll get these painted, but I'm going to start tearing out the quad shocks, uh, the rear shocks, uh, unhooking the um, brakes and um, control arms. The whole rear end's got to come out and the uh, the front end's got to be changed too. So uh, there we go. Let's get started. All right. So we have made a little bit of progress. Um, took out the bolts for the um, sway bar. It's right here. Um, the quad shock has been removed, 18 millimeter and 15 millimeter on this side. Uh, 12 millimeter for the bracket for the brakes. Now, one thing I wanted to mention was these brakes are going to get changed over to the new axle, obviously, but I'm going to clean these up, uh, make sure that they're all nice and cleaned up and maybe refinish them if they need to be. You can see kind of some metal shining through there. So I may have to get the paint code for the red calipers and uh, touch them up a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to clean all this up underneath here. And you can see that uh, rusty axle is going to get taken out completely. But everything else is pretty well cleaned in here. A little bit of rust on the quad shock bolt mount. Uh, rust on the shock, but the shocks are getting replaced. The springs are getting replaced. The sway bar is getting replaced. The lower control arm, the upper control arm, all that's getting replaced. So the whole new rear end back here, really. But um, make sure that you release these uh, emergency brake to get the break off seems pretty self-explanatory but i forgot whenever i put this thing up on blocks a month and a half two months ago i didn't uh disconnect the uh, or release the um emergency brake so that's what it looks like uh, making a little bit of progress I'm gonna switch to the other side now and uh start seeing about uh, getting this axle disconnected from the control arms and lowered so here we go all right so here's the first question leave a comment down below let me guys know what you think the quad shocks should i put new quad shocks back on this i'm gonna have the upper and lower control arms from bmr on here and the upgraded springs upgraded sway bars uh, a lot of people get rid of the quad shocks some people say don't get rid of them it won't ride as nice but i do have brand new ones that i purchased they're only like 60 bucks but uh debating should i put the quad shocks back on or leave them off leave a comment down below let me know what you think All right, so now I have gotten to the point where I need to remove the drive shaft. In all honesty, I should have done this before I disconnected the control arms. But the upper control arms are disconnected. The lower control arms are disconnected as well. Uh, they're not disconnected from the chassis, but they're disconnected from the axle. So now I sprayed this with some PV blaster, a Creole oil, and uh, this is going to help me remove these bolts. I need to get a 12 point socket so I can remove those. But this is where we're at right now. Once I get the drive shaft disconnected, the axle will completely come out and uh, I can start working on the drive shaft and the mid pipe because the mid pipe is going to get changed to a catless mid pipe from BBK. Uh, well, not catless. Sorry, I take that back. It's going to remove two of the four cats and uh, allow me to run just two high flow cats in the system there. So uh, I need to remove the drive shaft altogether because I'm getting the Ford Racing Performance Parts shaft to put in. I got that in over here. You can see the two boxes over there. One is the subframe connectors and one is the drive shaft. So 
that's what's going to be uh, next on this build. So, making some good progress.